早上起来去上学或者上班前，我们都会做一系列事情，例如关闹钟、赖床、起床、洗漱、锻炼、吃早饭、换衣服、出门、赶公交车等等。那么现在我们一起来学习一下怎么用地道英语去表达这些句子。Before going to bed, most of us will set an alarm to wake us up at a certain time so that we don't oversleep the next day. When the alarm sounds, you might be annoyed or pissed off and hit the snooze button several times to sleep in for an extra two minutes or even thirty minutes. Finally, you gather enough willpower to turn off your alarm and get out of bed. Everyone has their own morning ritual, which can vary from person to person. After waking up, most people will head to the bathroom to wash up first or take a shower. Depending on if you are a guy or a girl, you might shave, comb your hair, and do your makeup. Afterwards, you might try to get your workout in by going to the gym and pumping some iron or lifting weights. You might also do some cardio by going for a run on the treadmill. Some of you might choose to exercise at home by doing some Liu Gan Hong, H I T, or Tabata, or go for a run around the neighborhood. After working out, you will probably eat breakfast. A Chinese breakfast can consist of fried dough, soybean milk, tofu brains or pudding, steamed pork buns, tea eggs, congee, and maybe even some jian bing guo jie. A Western breakfast usually consists of scrambled or fried eggs, sausage or bacon, some type of fruit juice, smoothie or coffee, pancakes, French toast, waffles, oatmeal, and fruit. After breakfast, you'll probably wash or do the dishes and get dressed. Depending on if you are a student or a working professional, you will either put on your uniform, some business casual attire, or business formal attire. Before heading out, you might do some last-minute studying if you're a student, and housekeeping such as taking out the trash. Finally, it's time to head out and go to school or work. Some of you need to catch the bus or train, or grab a taxi if you don't drive. Others of you who drive will commute to work by driving your own car. No matter what, be sure to head out earlier to avoid rush hour.